So I wanted to know, uh, what in professional wrestling are you thankful for come around this year when you're thinking back? Uh, who's got one to start us off? Mm, who's got I'll one? I'll do one. I'll do one. Go ahead, Damon. I was, was going to wait, but I'll do one. Go ahead. Uh, is Damon yeah, um, for same with you, chat room. Damn, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm thankful for really some really awesome wrestling. There's a lot of guys, and, and specifically in WWE, but also just in general. Um, phenomenal wrestling, a lot of new people, a lot of breakouts, a lot of people that it's great to see people trying stuff and then either being really successful or even failing at it. Like, it's just great to see, um, sort of a level of creativity. It feels like a reinvigoration, almost a professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I, I mean, like I said, especially in WWE, I've been loving the product as of late and, I'm I'm really thankful for that. I also have to mention I'm also very thankful this year uh, for uh, wrestling that I'm working for an independent wrestling company. So that's cool. <laughs> I'm very thankful for that. So the ultimate come around, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Awesome. And who's next? I've got one. Okay. I, of course, am thankful for the good things in professional wrestling, the exciting matches and dynamic characters. But I'm also thankful for the bad things in wrestling. The TNAs, the crappy matches, and the boring things. I'm also thankful for the ridiculous things. The three-man band, and your Zack Riders, and your, you know, weird, goofy skits. For, like, the WWE Shop Zone stuff. Because (laughs) all of this forms a rich tapestry. And without the good, and the bad, and the ridiculous stuff in uh, WWE and elsewhere, we wouldn't have anything to talk about on this show. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what I'm thankful for. Amen. Uh, what? Yeah. How about you, Bobby? <laughs> I am thankful for Chris Jericho coming back this year. Okay. I am also thankful that um, we kind of have stables and tag team wrestling again. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm thankful for. Uh, what about you, Mike? Okay. I am thankful for um, the dancing divas of WWE, <laughs> whether it be Emma, Summer Rae, or even the Funkadactyls. Mm-hmm. I am thankful for Antonio Cesaro's giant swing. I am thankful for Joseph Park. And I am thankful for the Impact Hangouts on Thursday nights because I have never laughed so hard watching something so bad. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I got to say, I'm thankful, uh, uh, wrestling-wise, as far as watching wrestling, I'm thankful for discovering NXT. I know I'm not caught up on it, but I enjoy it thoroughly when I do get time to pound through through a few episodes. I like this amalgam of feeling like WWE has their own indie promotion, you know, and actually seeing something kind of new and fresh. And and, and I love the getting excited when we see somebody like a Wyatt's or uh, Big E, or, or, you know, any of those guys that kind of filter up through the system are like, yes, now everybody it, it's kind of got that same feeling of, you know, when we watched indie wrestling and, and you saw your Daniel Bryans and your CM Punks and your Samoa Joes come up and you kind of have that feeling of, yes, now everybody's going to know what I loved about this guy. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I, I think you get to see that happen with the next team. I think more people now get to have that feeling on a broader scale. Um, and I think I I think they they've really kind of uh, honed in what they're doing as far as that de- developmental. On a personal note, the guy I would go along, I wasn't going to, but Eamon started it. Uh, on a, on a working uh, side, I'm really pleased with um, um, where I've been able to go this this year, um, thanks to pro wrestling. Um, um, you know, thanks to our DVD release, uh, got to go to WrestleCon and, and hence go to uh, WrestleMania. I uh, got to go to uh, Michigan to uh, do some shooting for another documentary and meeting some really interesting people along the way. Um, and not to mention just the people that come in and out of, of these shows that we do here locally uh, in Pittsburgh. Um, so that's been really that's been really exciting for me and uh, uh, kind of digging, uh, uh, you know, kind of where we go with that. And I hope to uh, bring a lot of the mayhem along for the ride for that. So here in the future. So with that, and please let us know uh, in the chat room. We have, uh, and you guys can let us know at Mayhem Show. Um, just hashtag good it. Times. You'll, or Good Times. Or Good Times. Mayhem Show. <laughs> let us know. Or drop it on the Facebook. I'll probably drop a, uh, if I can, I, I'll try to drop a what are you thankful for question on Facebook and the Google Plus and everything, please. Uh, 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 Wheels is actually thankful for meeting Nash, Devon, Goldust, and many others 
uh, I've had the pleasure to work with, and of course he's also uh, lucky enough to be working uh, with local indies, of course, doing sound for RWA and others. And oh God, Matt Carlin's just fell down. Sorry, oh, no. that, buddy. Matt Carlin's down. Matt Carlin's down. Oh, jeez. Oh, he lost his hair. 